This is uh, an honor to address this Minister at Round Table uh, at a historic moment of Ethiopia, the launch of our nuclear program and operationalization of Ethiopian Nuclear Energy Commission. Ethiopia's decision to pursue nuclear technology arises from clear national motivation rooted in energy security, economic transformation, and long-term resilience. Our ambition extends far beyond electric city generation, embracing peaceful application of health in healthcare, agriculture, industry, and research, ensuring the nuclear science delivers tangible life-enhancing benefit for all Ethiopians. Dear Excellencies, if we look at only the energy sector, the magnitude of our challenges become evident. At the engine of development, energy shapes both the pace and the quality of our nation's progress. Yet today, our energy landscape faces structural constraints, such as heavy dependence on hydropower, which is increasingly vulnerable to climate variability, a growing supply deficit that affects industries and households, and as one of the fastest one of the world's fastest growing economy. Rapidly rising demand for sustainable high quality electricity are some of the challenges. By 2035, national consumption is projected to reach above 86 terawatt hour with a peak dem demand approach beyond 40,000 megawatt. No single existing sources in our current energy mix can meet this scale of demand, nor can they alone provide the reliable baseload required for industrialization, advanced manufacturing, digital infrastructure, and our rapidly urbanizing society. This is why the government of Ethiopia has made a bold, strategic, and forward-looking decision to adopt nuclear power as a cornerstone of our long-term energy mix. With this program, Ethiopia is not merely adding another technology. We are securing the backbone of our future economy. Ladies and gentlemen, this vision is a result of deliberate leadership at the highest level. His Excellency Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has consistently affirmed Ethiopia's commitment to peaceful nuclear development. From his declaration at the inauguration of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam to his statement at the global forums, including the high-level atom energy event this year in Russia. The visit to the IA Director General Rafael Marino Grossi to Ethiopia, his extensive, and cons extensive consultation with the Prime Minister, and the agency's support in guiding our high-level delegation to Vienna have all been instrumentals. Today's launch is the direct outcome of this guidance, leadership, and the national, the, the, and national resolve. Ethiopia remains fully committed to exclusively peaceful use of nuclear technology. With the establishment of Ethiopian Nuclear Energy Commission, supported by clear legal mandate and robust institutional structure, we are aligning our national framework with the IA milestones approaching and in reinforcing our adherence to all relevant international treaties and obligations. Our partnership with the IA stands at the center of this journey. The agency's early, prompt, and unwavering support through expert mission, capacity building, activities, and technical cooperation has significantly accelerated our progress. Your Excellency DDG, your presence here today is a strong vote of confidence in Ethiopia's preparedness and seriousness of our intent. We are deeply grateful for the agency's swift response and for collaboration that has made this launching possible. As we move forward, Ethiopia looks to deepen its cooperation with the IA, a partnership in safety, in knowledge, and in a shared vision of peaceful nuclear development. Finally, in the, historic, in the historic national nuclear program launching event, 
I reaffirm that Ethiopia stands ready, committed to a peaceful, safe, and secure nuclear program that will power a modern, industrialized, and energy secure nation. I thank you.